What is going on, YouTube? It's been a while. It's been a long time. I, uh, I've been quite preoccupied as of late. And, uh, man, I'm, I really need, like, an intro. You know, I never I never have, like, a, a concrete intro. I can just maybe steal, steal someone's be like, What's the story, guys? What's a crack? But I, that's not good, because you can't just, like, steal other people's material. But I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. I will. That I can have some sort of, uh, some sort of catchphrase. This, this game is unique because um, I, a lot of the gameplay is for, well, it, me and Optic J were in the same game and we both did pretty, pretty well, so I talked to him and I figured why not uh, put both of our uh, gameplays in the same game. So, so uh, here it is. Here's Jones racking up some kills in the old uh, chopper gunner thing. But I don't know, I feel like Black Ops... Now that everybody don't, you know, bite my head off with this one, but I think it's really lost its appeal to me, like, a lot faster than any of the other, uh, Call of Duties did. Mostly because, I don't know, whenever I watch videos, I feel like it's so, all of it's so similar. I feel like another reason why I've really been struggling to put out video game content, because there's nothing really out, although I've played, for the past, like, month, I've been playing the hell out of Dead Space 2. I don't know, I'm not, I don't normally play those survival horror type games, but I love that game. I don't know, it's really gory and atmospheric. But, um, any hoozle, I, um, I don't know, I never made, like, a formal announcement, but my, my ship date looms for, um, for the Army Reserve. I'm going to uh, basic training this summer, so I'm kind of uh, nervous and excited. I think it's, I've never really had a, um, Mm. I've never really done anything in my life that I would consider really difficult or, you know, really different. And not that Army basic training is the hardest thing in the world. I mean, I know there's, there's uh, Marines who go through much a much more traumatic, to say the least, and difficult process. But I, I don't know. I, I there's, there's some, um, there's some patriotic reasons, I guess. I don't know. I've always felt that being an American, I don't know, it makes it, I feel like it serves, it serves the country. It's like I'm doing my part for the country, kind of. And you also get paid, which, you know, that's always nice. And, uh, you get to shoot guns? Man, that's worth it, right? That's worth signing your life away for six years. You get to shoot guns for free. But, um, anybody who doesn't who, you know, knows what an MOS is, Military Occupational Specialty, I will be training to be an 88 Mike, a truck driver, which doesn't sound very eventful, but when you look at the jobs you could be doing, it it has more appeal than most, so, and it has some real world applications, so why not, I figured I'd get my CDL, so, it, it should be, it should be quite, quite a ride, and I'll make a bigger post, you know, when I leave, I'm shipping out May 18th, so, I'll make like a fair farewell um, address. Um, so that'll all be cut. Nice shot, Joe. See that he got one off right before right before he took one in the dome. He took somebody else out. That's way to go down fighting. But any anyway, um, let's see, we talked about Jones military. Um, oh yeah, I just started a a blog on Blogspot. I don't know, it's always it's always been something that's interested me. I feel like it could be something I excel at. I've always been told I'm a somewhat eloquent, decent, whatever word you want to say, um, communicator of ideas. You know, whether they be political or social or life advice. Actually, the title of it is called A Slacker's Guide to Life because I've always fancied myself a slacker of sorts. Um, which is not necessarily a good thing, but hey, it's just a different it's a different way to go about life, just doing just enough to get by. So I just got that up. Um, I guess I'll post a link in the description or whatever, make it like an announcement. But I'm gonna try to get on that in my in the days, in the coming months, get some content out before I leave. And um, you know, hopefully that that will be a su successful venture. And um, and I heard uh, Hex and Jones told me that they are going. They're going to Dallas 
in like a month or two, and I want to go, but I don't think I am, because I have some money saved up, but I think I'm going to use that money to buy a Glock 17 instead, because, I don't know, I really, I've always wanted one, and now I have the money, so, I will be doing that, and trying to get, an and I know that my channel's been a little bit inactive lately, I'm just, I don't know, I've been have not really been doing that much of any worth to show you guys, but I'm working on that. I'll try. I think I'll do. I'll try and I'll try and make it a goal of mine to get enough good content out before I leave to have a nice little library collection. To I cannot believe that guy got me. See, that's what I'm talking about. Black Ops question marks all around for like how you die. Although I will say it is more balanced than Modern Warfare 2. I say this. I like the mechanics. Of Infinity Ward games like Modern Warfare 2, like the actual movement and firing control and stuff, but this this game with like the kill streaks and stuff is just I guess it's more about I don't know I just miss Call of Duty 2. Why everyone get on Call of Duty 2 again? Everyone go rediscover that game. So maybe that'll be the popular thing that everybody plays. Cause I don't know I feel like the future of Call of Duty 2 or Call of Duty rather in general is in jeopardy. But anyway, you guys have a good one and I'll have hopefully have another video out soon. Check out my blog.